Hello! We're playing Dark Cloud 2! Alright. We're almost to the lighthouse, so there's gonna be a question mark boss fight? I really hope so. I really hope so. I've got more Giorama to put down, though, so I assume once we get to that level, it's gonna stop us. Anyway, let's talk about... What happened with Annapurna Studio? What is going on with game companies these days? So in case you didn't know it, Annapurna Studio is a relatively small uh, company. It had like 25 employees. As opposed to the like 10 bazillion that like Blizzard Activision has, you know? So a pretty small company. Um, but they've already put out like a ton of game that people really like. Um, with like the most... A well-known one being a game called Stray, where you pay, play as a cat, which is really cool. I love games that kind of... I haven't played it yet, but it looks so cute. I might check it out um, on this uh, channel, because it really it looks really cute. You play as a cat. That's all you need to know. <laughs> so they've made a lot of really good, nice, high-quality, really nice, pleasant games that, incidentally, a lot of people like. Um, but, unfortunately, there is complications with management, as there always is. You can't just, like, have a game company, uh, <laughs> without management ruining everything. In this case, um, the manager, or rather the founding owner of the website, is somebody called Megan Ellis. And she's a rich kid. <laughs> she's like the daughter of, like, a bazillionaire. He's like a film industry guy. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So she, she decides that she's going to take some of daddy's money and make a, a film studio and a game company. Both are called Annapurna. And, uh, yeah. Uh, who would have thought working for, like, an ultra-rich uh, brat is not, uh, not fun. <laughs> so what happened was... After making all these companies and people like really love the Annapurna, or rather the people making games at Annapurna, the actual minds behind it, uh, the employees were like, "Hey, can we like break away from from Annapurna and kind of do our own thing since we're like really successful at this whole game making thing?" And uh, what do you think the rich brat said? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you're thinking that she immediately turned to humanitarian efforts and doing the right thing and doing what's best for humanity and for the people who work for her because that's what rich people say they do, right? They're very charitable and generous. That's that's what rich people are, according to rich people. <laughs> no, she immediately was like, no, I don't want to. This is my thing. You're part of my thing. Oh my gosh, I hate those things, man. <laughs> Monica, help me. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna scream. <laughs> Uno momento, por favor. Okay, I'm not opening any boxes this time. Um, anyway... <laughs> next, next, next. Let me just... No! Oh my gosh, I, I think I blocked. Did I block? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so... Obviously, she was like, No, you belong to me. This is my thing and you're a part of it. And she wouldn't let them break off into their own studio. And <laughs> Killy! Which is nuts that anybody can actually legally do that. You know what I mean? But I guess you can't really force somebody to to sell your company. But so I so she wouldn't. But even so, it's like if if nobody wants to work with you anymore, maybe maybe you don't try and hold them over a barrel just because you own you own the company. But that's of course that's what rich people do. They just try to abuse everyone around them and treat everyone like their property. So the manager of, like, the, the guy who was actually managing the team and actually, like, a part of the team went into negotiations with uh, the Megan Ellis, the owner, 
And, uh, and she walked out on him. And apparently this is something that she does all the time. She's, like, impossible to work with. And she will just walk out on things when she's not getting her way. And she's just basically a menace to society, like most rich people. <laughs> so, yeah, so she refused to do the deal, or any deal. And she fired this manager. <laughs> uh, to try and get back into the hall, I guess. And, uh, and you know what happened as a result? The entire team, all 25 staff, were like, Yeah, in that case, we're gone. And, uh, and they walked out. So, yeah. So, currently, Annapurna has no staff behind it. Uh, because, yeah, they don't want it. They don't want to work for her. And rather than having to work for her, they would rather just not have jobs. <laughs> That's how bad it is there, apparently. So, uh, yeah. And, uh... Yeah, so she rehired this manager to try and, like, apologies, but they're gone. They're gone, and they're not coming back. So far, anyway. But, I mean, if they said that they wanted her to sell the company, then I don't see why they would come back unless she sells the company, you know? They don't want to work for her. They don't want to be a part of her thing. You know, I don't think they want the name Annapurna, even. They just, they want to go off and be this associated with like their the IPs that they made, you know? And that's it. So, you know? I, it's very strange. It's it's very strange how she reacted. But I mean that's rich people. They're delusional and mentally deranged. So Um Let's see, do we dare open it? I'm gonna open it. A bug! That was worth it. Um Yeah, so um, so what's Annapurna's response to losing her entire team and her company basically being done and over? Uh, her response to, to, like, press and to her publishing partners is, Don't worry, we're, we're still on track. Even though there's literally no one to actually do the work and be on track. So, typical rich person response. She is just going to be like, oh, they're all replaceable. They don't matter. The people who actually made the games a success and made the games that she is, her dumb little name is just, a, just like, attributed to, they're all gone. But somehow, she's still going to be on track. What, is she going to, like, hire, like, a, an India company to, like, ram out some updates real quick or what <laughs> you know she's gonna do it with ai like, like give me a break it, game over and uh yeah so so yeah she's not willing to face reality and apologize and just like let the team break off and start over she'd rather just like set the whole thing on fire and then start over typical so yeah it's, it's really a shame that uh you know, these games that people love are now hugely in danger. I mean, they might just be dead. <laughs> and if they're not dead, then they're in somebody else's hands. Just know that. Like, somebody completely different is involved with this now. Um, so they're not ever going to be the same. <laughs> Which is a shame, because they are some very cute looking games. But, yeah. Like, I feel bad for the workers that... They had to lose their jobs, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, you did the right thing. You stood up for yourself. And it's way better to walk out. That's like the only thing we can do as workers, is to go on strike or walk out. So, they did the right thing. Right. And in an era takes care of, you guys. of uh, game developers and, uh, you know, developers in general. Oh my gosh, so much junk. Get out of my face. Game developers in general... Um, being treated so badly, like they're just nothing and they're completely replaceable. This was the correct response, you know, to you can either strike or you can walk out. And they walked out. <clears throat> so, sticking it to the man a little bit. And just because you have money does not mean that you actually made anything. And this kind of response makes it really obvious, you know, that, um... You know, she's just as a person with money. 
great. If I had money, I would actually make really great stuff. I would actually be involved in making those things. And I wouldn't treat my employees like dirt to where they want nothing to do with me as soon as possible. So, yeah. Uh, don't look up to rich people. They just ruin everything they touch. So, and it's, it's a shame. Money is wasted on the rich because they are the least capable of using it. It's really sad. So, anyway, that's a that's a short of what happened with Annapurna. A lot of the videos I've seen talking about it, they they ramble on for like ten or twenty minutes on like the history of these different aspects, rather than just getting to it. What happened? A rich person ruined it again. <laughs> that's what happened. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful in case you really want to know what's going on uh, without a lot of wind up. Um, yeah, and it's it's just another shame that's going on in the gaming industry. It's just more garbage from the rich elite who are just treating us all like trash and pretending like the things that we make are theirs. And it's pathetic. So, yeah. Anyway, like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to support the channel directly, you can jump on Patreon. We are, we're actually an indie de uh, dev team ourselves. So <laughs> consider giving us a dollar. We're making an amazing V-pad that's actually going to have a physical release. And it's going to be really cool. Um, and yeah, have a better week than me. And 